Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A question was asked from one of our sisters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the Muslims in general. Bless our brothers and sisters in general. Bless us all with ikhlas, with thabad ala sunnah al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. Assalamu alaykum akhi. I'm a 14-year-old Muslimah. And I was wondering about what you would advise focusing on in terms of my deen. I currently go to the masjid regularly where I'm memorizing the Quran. I also watch your channel as well as Nasiha sessions, Imran Ibn Mansur in the UK. <clears throat> I sin a lot, of course, but I want to improve and I have faith in Allah Azza wa Jal. And I know that he is a Rahman. <clears throat> First and foremost, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and bless the Muslims in general and bless us all with a class with the battle of Sunnah. Uh, so far, it sounds like you're doing a lot of very positive, a lot of uh, good because you're going and you're memorizing the Quran. You are spending your time doing something alim, one of the greatest things that you could be doing, and that's memorizing the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On top of that, we also want to encourage you to learn uh, its meaning, of course, so that way you can contemplate, because more important than memorizing, no doubt, is understanding the Quran, understanding and contemplating and reflecting and applying it in your life, make it tatbiq of the Quran. <clears throat> Those are some of the, the most important matters. Uh, you mentioned uh, about uh, the Siha sessions, and I had heard about it, and I wasn't sure, and then I looked it up really quickly, and from what I know uh, uh, regarding the brother, I think he's Dawah man, I believe, and I, as I've said prior to this, that I heard uh, khair from a variety of sources, from Ahl Sunnati with Jama'ah, from my brothers in the UK, and they have uh, all mentioned highly uh, recommended that this is a person of the Sunnah who practices the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and calls people to that, and that they have some good ta'awun with some of the brothers, some of the Tulab al Alam there, and they're doing positive, opened up, I think, the uh, Knowledge College or Islam, something like this. So there's a lot of khair, so I would advise you to keep doing that and keep learning. The second or third point I want to mention, uh, you mentioned about sin. The Prophet ﷺ said, uh, All the children of Adam, they commit sins, and the best of those who sin are those who repent. So, alhamdulillah, walillah, alhamd, hadha ni'ma min ni'amillah, that repentance is still open up for us, that we can still come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can humble ourselves before our Lord tabarak wa ta'ala, we don't have to ask a preach, we don't have to ask an imam, we don't have to ask a da'i, we don't have to ask the wali, we don't have to ask the marid, we can go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask him and beg him for forgiveness for the many many sins that we commit nahar wa layl, in the day and the night. So that's a na'mah, that's a great na'mah and that's what distinguishes Islam from uh, those other religions uh, that uh, of kufr and shirkiyat that you have to go to the priest and they have to go to someone else so you you don't require any confession you just go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we all know our shortcomings uh, we know most of our shortcomings so make kathra to dua this is something very important supplicate to Allah Azza wa Jal often and there are many opportunities to supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Supplicate in the rain. Supplicate when uh, if you're traveling. Supplicate in sujood. Supplicate, uh, you know, uh, you know. there's many opportunities. Uh, supplicate whenever you feel like it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And observe some of those mannerisms of dua. Raising your hand and uh, being humble in your heart and, and humble yourself before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and have a humility begging him for forgiveness, begging him to help you to leave the sin because sin, uh, depending on the sin, many sins, there are very addictive sins for many of us. Some people it's music, some people it's zina, some people it's uh, pornography, some people it's uh, uh, you know drugs, and some people cigarettes, whatever the case may be, that some of those sins could be very addictive and very difficult to remove yourself from. So strive your best to just keep going back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Keep begging him. What should you focus on in terms of your deed? Making tobas to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also, studying tawheed. So study, uh, you know, depending on 
you're, you're very young, so study, uh, try to uh, listen to lessons that are actually teaching you. Those Iman builders are beautiful. Lectures and stuff like this that you find on the internet from many of the Tulab al-Ilm and, and Du'at al-Khair. But you also want to go through some things. So if you can take out some of your time as well, I know you're in school and I know you are going to the Quran, but spend, even if it's once in a week, finishing uh, going through a text like Usul al-Thalatha. Very important, very beneficial about what you need to know. Because the beginning of the text, so the beginning of the text, Imam Muhammad, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he says, uh, know that verily uh, there are four things that are an obligation upon every Muslim. The first thing is knowledge. And then he mentions, meaning that knowledge, what does knowledge mean? Does knowledge mean uh, uh, being knowledge of a doctor, knowledge of a pharmacist, knowledge of an engineer, knowledge of a mechanical engineer, electrical engineer? Uh, no. Uh, he said, Allah. It's knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that means tawheed. That means knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by his, uh, uh, his rububiyyah, that he's the Lord of everything. He's the creator of the heavens and earth. Secondly, that involves knowing that he has divine names and attributes, that you can supplicate to him uh, and this is part of that uh, adab, the manners of the du'a. Supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by his divine names and attributes. This is tuwassal. Tuwassal bi asma'ihi wa sifatihi. So supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Rahman Arhamani, O most merciful, please give me mercy. Ya Ghafoor, please forgive me. Okay? So this is asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by his divine names and attributes. Uh, and the third aspect of tawheed, <coughs> excuse me, tawheed, is Tawheed, uh, Tawheed al-Uluhiyya, Tawheed al-Uluhiyya, and this has to do with uh, that all your worship is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, okay, so this is very important to know these things, and to revise these things, so that way you're not just going through the Quran, but you're getting the context and what the Quran is calling to you, and that's the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, he says, Tabarak wa ta'ala, wa ma khalaqtu al jinn wa abudun, I have not created mankind in the jinn, except for the purpose of worship should be. So knowing Tawheed, so going back over that, knowing uh, and, and learning some of the other, going through a, a basic book, because now there's so much recorded material that's free if you don't have time to go through an online course that uh, costs money, then there are so many free opportunities to go through some simple books, go through things like Asul al as I said, maybe Qa'id al-Arba, things like this, uh, to work on your Akidah. So I would say this is very important. And your Iman, things that talk about the, uh, you know, Arba'ina Nawi and Rayyad Salihin and things like this. There's so many free uh, courses out there to help strengthen your Iman. Listen to Sheikh uh, uh, Tahir Wyatt as well. Has a lot of, he's going in deep, uh, break, breaking down some complex issues in Akidah and bringing it to the people. And this is a very important, a very important job of the Dai is that he's simplifying. He shouldn't be talking to people because unfortunately in the past, a lot of us, we made things so complicated for people. Instead of breaking down those books of the Salaf, breaking down the Qua and the Minhaj of the Salaf for the people of our time in our societies to understand. Because a lot of these books, especially contemporary and more contemporary books, not even, why do you think the ulama are explaining in their societies in Arabic? to their, the same books over and over in many different shurahat. Because even the common people in the Arabic speaking societies that have been raised on Tawheed need the breakdown. They need it. They're not going to understand a lot of the, the language and the context and how to understand. So the scholars, they articulate that. Likewise, in our language, in the language of English, for those who are English speakers, it needs to be articulated. So sorry to go a little bit off, but I use this as an opportunity just to make some other points. So uh, definitely focus on Tawheed and going through some small text. Uh, if you can, listening, and you can download all these things for free on the internet. So there's really no excuses nowadays. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.